Hello, in this video I'll be breaking down a game of Ken Johnson, he's probably going to be a really high pick in this upcoming draft, he's number 13 for the Michigan Wolverines. So this is the first shift of Johnson, he's at the top of your screen, right next to the board, he gets the puck there, and the first thing you can see with Johnson is his deceptiveness, the best part of his game is his hands. So he really wants to use them and he uses those hands in combination with a lot, a lot of deception. So he always moves his shoulders, his feet, his hips in order, in order to send false signals to the opposing defense. And you see in this shift he ends up creating a really nice passing line to the top of the zone. There was nobody in front of the net there for the shot, but if there was someone this could have been a great scoring chance. Ken Johnson is F3 right now. And he's the highest man on the breakout. He's going to carry this puck in the offensive zone. And now this turns into something more interesting. Puck protection sequence. So, Johnson's stance isn't the most solid because he's pretty high on his skates. But one thing he does that I really like is the way he keeps his feet parallel to the boards. So he doesn't turn his back fully to the, to the, the defender. Sometimes when he needs to shield the puck but he keeps his feet moving and just slips past his check, which allows him to make a play behind to, I think this is Mathieu Beniers. And then he rushes the net, which turns into a pretty good scoring chance. Okay, so this is going to be a rush sequence. Johnson is on the wall, Power gets the spot, he passes it to Beniers, and then Johnson rushes the net, stays a bit higher, Pretty much the only play he could have made there. Now his defenseman is taking that puck along the wall, so the best thing for him to do is reload high, cover for that defenseman. He does it good. There's something better he could have done here, though. So he gets that puck. So th this is pretty good shooting chance. Uh, he has quite an open line, but no nobody's taking the goalie's eyes away, so it's probably going to be a, an easy save because he's far away. Another play he could have made is a pass to York right on his side. He could have attracted that defender and then passed to York instead, which would have allowed York to have a much better shooting angle and improve the, the quality of this scoring chance. Puck goes to the corner. Beniers get that, get, gets that puck. Johnson, Johnson was a bit late on that read, but he still went to the right spot. Like he could have started his movement right there. It's a bit, a bit of a second late. Doesn't matter too much. He was in the right spot. This is again going to be um, a battle on the wall. Johnson gets that puck. He makes. This is a pretty good play. So he doesn't have awareness of the defender behind him, but still. He takes the time to manipulate him, so he gets that puck. Instead of trying to escape the wall on first touch, he makes sure to angle his feet one way and cut the other, which gives him enough space to reach Beniers in front of the net. So this starts as a defensive zone sequence. So Johnson is just taking care of his coverage. He's scanning for it, which is pretty good. Always a projectable element the wall battle so the entire team collapses on the wall to make sure they win that puck back it's a common strategy at every level and now Beniers has that puck which means it's probably going to turn into a breakout Johnson supports that oh this is really nice when we talk about skating habits taking pucks in accelerations like this it's really good if he had stopped or just slowed down or got into a glide, he would not have, to, he would not have been able to, uh, to beat that defender. And this is perhaps Johnson's best quality, right? So he's pretty creative, he's really a problem solver, so he really faces overwhelming pressure here. He could have shot that puck in the op opposite corner and could have rebounded to Beniers. That's the uh, normal boring play. So what he prefers to do is just going to protect that puck with his hands and 
like spinning on himself and and just gripping his stick to the highest possible managed to tread that puck and almost reach his teammate it was a pretty good sequence of problem solving which Johnson does really well in general so this is finding space away from the puck he reads that play dips below the defender comes back up I would have liked him to take this puck in movement also so uh, it would have improved the location of his shot would have been able to bypass the screen if he took that puck to his just just a step to his left and maybe it can open a passing lane to the nearest in front now he's only going to find space yep this is a bad reception but I don't think it's really his fault and that's another weakness of Johnson sometimes so again he's really skilled really creative but his, his awareness of defender of his own space of teammates sometimes it's not as good as it could be so right now he doesn't he's sure check for pressure but he's flat-footed and he doesn't have the speed to cut back right here uh, he needed to either accelerate uh, along the blue, li blue line and then cut back or really cut inside a defender uh, use his shoulder to, to imbalance that defender and then cut back into space but um, you just there's too much of a gap between him and the defender when he tries that, that cut back so that defender can easily adjust like he you can see the defender's weight is, is centered uh, he has time to adjust that move he doesn't even need to adjust Johnson just turns back into him so he still manages to slip by gets that puck down to a teammate Again, problem solving. Will that improve its strength? Probably. It's going to help its speed, its explosiveness too. But it's mostly awareness and knowing the speed of the game and just being having the experience of those patterns. So I think next year we're going to see a lot less of that. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting sequence. Johnson finds this entry <laughs> again he, he can he can beat defenders but he doesn't play with the most space right now he takes all the time he has which isn't necessarily bad of course it would be better if he sp speeded through the, the, the neutral zone and found this entry anyway instead of going through the motion but the, he had a line so he just took it by being deceptive. This is another instance of him finding space. He uses the same technique as last time. So he comes up high and descends in the slot and stops, which makes the defender overshoot and it creates space for him. But again, some decision making issue. Maybe it would have been best for him to shoot in this instance because I think he had it open, or maybe it would have rebounded on the defender. Again, he's hunting for space, making some heel pushes for that. That's a pretty good protection sequence. So his, again, his stance is pretty high, so he doesn't have much stability, but he fakes one way, the shoulder checks for the pressure, and then goes back the other way. Creates some separation. <laughs> again, his space is pretty slow, but he still manages to find half a point maybe. So he gets the puck to the net. Like he had some option on his backhand. That's really nit nitpicky. Didn't need to do the spinorama or I don't know what to call it. Didn't need to turn to try and reach his teammates. He had his backhand available. Again, changing pace is a good way to manipulate. So. so it's pretty projectable anyway. So he slows down right there to attract the defender and create space for his teammates. Ends up reaching him and it's a shot on that. So he can manipulate true pace. I would just like him to have a default pace that's higher than what he has now, at least in this game. 
So this is a four checking sequence. Um, Johnson is F1, so his role is to steer the, the ply one way, which he manages to do. He's again F1, cuts the D2D pass, forces a play up the board, which leads to the other team losing the puck and his team almost regaining possession. <laughs> it's a bit, of, a bit of chaos right now. So Johnson gives his stick as, an, as a passing option. Talking about change of pace manipulations, this is a pretty good one. So he scans for his option, cuts inside, uses the space the opposing defense supports him and then waits for, for support. He balances the D, takes him out of the play, and 25 has a catch and release shot. So here Michigan is rushing to the offensive zone. This is a pretty good shot on that. Nice scanning inside the, the, the retrieval. As you can see here, uh, this is a puck protection sequence, but again, Johnson's stance is pretty high. He tries to make contact preemptively with the defender, has to uh, create a pocket of space and escape with that puck, but he's too high, so he's easily knocked away from it. It's probably going to turn into another wall battle. This was better from Johnson. He loses the puck, but right now, as he's not the strongest player and he has some problem with his skating, so it's really hunched over or really high when he's along the boards, his best puck protection will come from movement, not uh, physicality that much. So it's better to it's better for him to try and fake a defender, turn their feet one way and escape the other way which he attempts to do right here that's a really nice play it just shows awareness awareness so we can't really see it and that's the problem with video scouting you, know, you can't you don't get to see the same things as live in the arena, but okay, we <laughs> do see it. So he scans a couple of times for, for his options in the middle of the ice, dissipates that rim, positions himself behind the net, and you can see him checking for his teammates. He doesn't reveal his target though. He stops that puck, goes to his backhand, fakes like he's going to pass across, I mean on the other side of the net and just makes that pass across the grain to his teammates and it's a really great scoring chance again exception sending false information to the, to the defense it's really what Johnson does best if you can show the same awareness awareness <laughs> at all time in the offensive zone and improve his decision making a bit improve his, his feet a bit too it's going to be really dangerous in the NHL so that's a defensive zone sequence. Johnson wins that battle, knocks the puck to the neutral zone, and then pressures it. This is this is really something you should like about Johnson too, and his motor. So he plays with a lot of energy. I talk about his his lower pace, but it's mostly in possession. He has a tendency as he gets across, as he moves across to the neutral zone, to really slow down and manipulate by slowing down even more but away from the puck when he's pressuring when he's defending he's as quick as he can and he's he just attacks with not attacks but defends with a lot of intensity and pressure and a high motor in general so this helps him generate turnovers like look at that he never gives up so he gets cut off nice pick from the opposing team and then it gets right back on it attempts to stick cliff you can see he has some skating problems He's really hunched over. It's because he wants to, uh, to steal the puck right there. But still, it's part of his natural form too. 
So he gets a dump in, which means to break out, scans a lot. And there's the, there's the creativity. This is really a fun And again, he, he just rushes the net, gives all he can, and then goes to change. Let's rewatch that. That's a part of the sequence. It's not necessary for him to do that move because he has other options, but it's still manipulative, it's deceptive, and he pulls it off. So, what can you say? Probably freaked out his coach a little bit, but he managed it. Again, for him, it's, it's about managing that, that creativity too. Not overdoing it when he doesn't need to, just making a simple play to get the puck back into more space and then launch himself into those moves. When he has more space, a speed difference, when the conditions are better for him to do so. So this is something he has to work on, but <laughs> it's really entertaining player. You can never take away that from him. So this was a game review of Ken Johnson. I hope you enjoyed it.